Apa khabar semua? What is good ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Kaba Bai Show. Can you believe it? We are already on our third episode and while some of you may be thinking, Chris, you still doing this ah? One viewer commented, "Love this broski, Trevor Noah of Malaysia. I will take that Ganendra. Thank you very much." Well, the first week of 2021 has been quite a year. From a drastic rise in COVID cases to the Prime Minister declaring a movement control order, it almost feels as if someone just hit repeat on 2020. Not only that, to top things off like a cherry on a Sunday that no one really is because it kind of tastes like cough medicine, the PM also declared a state of emergency to further fight COVID. And that is why it is time for a dose of this week's Kababai. COVID cases are rising as we hit a daily four-digit number of new cases. And as much as we need the frontliners, they need our support too. And yes, that means staying home and putting on a mask. Speaking of helping out the frontliners, Uniqlo Malaysia is doing exactly that. Earlier this week, they donated 1,000 Arizon products to the frontliners in Sabah to say thank you and to honour them for their hard work and sacrifice. While the world is fighting against the COVID pandemic, Uniqlo states that it will help rebuild the post-pandemic world by contributing quality and affordable clothing that is made for all. Now, one of the nurses was also saying how in all the boxes they were given, there was a tiny speaker inside that whenever you open the box, you will say, Welcome to Uniqlo! In other news, internet sensation, Uncle Roger, is back home in Malaysia. Now, Nigel, also known as Uncle Roger, is a Malaysian comedian based in London. In July last year, he went viral after he reviewed BBC food host Hersha Patel's fried rice in a YouTube video. Straight. What's she doing? What's she doing? Train the... Oh my god! You killing me, woman! Gaining global attention over a single night. As of today, Uncle Roger has 3.19 million subscribers on YouTube. Nigel said in his podcast recently that he is back home in Malaysia because he misses his parents. And I think that's just sweet. I mean, you can do everything, be anyone, go everywhere. But in the end, what truly matters are the people who love and care for you. Welcome home, Nigel. Uh, looking forward to see you review Uncle Soon's fried rice. Ooh. Next, moving on to some out-of-this-world news, Vanmita Atimulam, a 20-year-old aerospace engineering student from Klang, recently was selected as a finalist representing Malaysia in the Career Astronaut Competition, a global competition organised by Advancing X. And if she wins, she will be Malaysia's first female astronaut. And here to share more about her story, please welcome our very first guest on the show, Miss Vanmita Atimulam. How are you? I am good, Thank Vanmita. You. Thank you for having me here. It's no problem. Me. First of all, I want to just talk to you about this whole space competition. Can you tell us more about this? You know, what, what, what made you apply for this? Is this the first yeah, time yeah. you're joining it, or last year also you tried? No, no. This is my first time joining in. Astronaut competition. Before this, I actually applied for analog astronaut mission program yeah, yeah. and also citizen astronaut program. So wow. both the programs, I I got rejected actually. It's very discouraging, lah. Yeah, because that was my first time actually taking part in an international competition. You know, mm, so mm, when it, mm. the when the result comes out, like I get rejected, I was a bit demotivated. I was like, mm. oh my god, okay, what are the requirements that they actually need, and what am I lacking from that? Yeah. So I paused for a moment. I did not take part in any competition. Okay. So I wanted to focus on my studies. First, I'm doing a degree right now in USM Aerospace. So meanwhile, I was finding for a mentor to actually like, you know, build my skills now, like what type of skills that they need now. Because the astronauts 10 years ago is completely different from the astronauts nowadays. They need a lot of skills, like they need to know extra language, then programming, lot of things now wow. like Elon Musk has come up with SpaceX right it's completely new compared to the previous space shuttles that we had wow. so we need okay. to know like a lot of skills so that's how I came to know about this SJAC's mentorship program SJAC is an international organization like Space Generation Advisory Council so that's how I came across this mentor's profile who is an astronaut candidate in Advancing X means he already passed through all the stages this wow. interview stage and he's already selected he's a german guy so when i got that the first thing when i met him virtually that's that was my first question how did you become an astronaut mm, mm, mm. so yeah he guided me and then he said maybe you can just go give a try 
So I went and looked at their website, uh, looking for their requirements because the requirement is very important, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when I looked, most of their requirement was like somewhat I fit inside. So I decided okay. to just go for it. Just do it, lah. I mean, why not, right? Yeah, Look at you, you now. get or you don't get. It's like second issue. Yeah. Correct, correct. First thing is try first. So you have just passed your interview, right? So the interview stage is the final stage. Yeah, yeah, I'm done with the interview. Yes, uh, I did it last week around one a.m. How was the interview, Banita? I was a bit. Actually, I thought they would be even more serious because it's an international organization, right? So I thought right, they would right. be very serious about it. Then it turns the other way, and they were very friendly. Like when they met me, itself, they're talking to me like they know me earlier. Wow. So it went pretty smooth. Six of them interviewed me. So do you know when the interview results will come up? Yeah, they told me uh, from the interview date. It takes about two weeks time. Two weeks time, lah. So, how do you feel about it? Feeling confident? A not bit sure? tensed, but but my intuition says somewhat I'll get it, lah. Let's see how it goes. Let me just get this clear. If you get this, you will be the first female Malaysian astronaut. Am I right? Yes. Right. Amazing, lah. Up till today, Vamita, I'm sure you have faced so many challenges along the way coming to where you are today. Who or what kept you going? Universe. Because the- when I decided to become as an astronaut, not just because I want to go and work there, but I want to see the world from my naked eyes. That view, Amazing. You know? Amazing. So, so from that day onwards, I was like, no matter what, I'm gonna like enjoy that view, one day. So. Damn. Yeah, that no matter, like all those failures and rejections, I first. Somewhat it'll demotivate yeah, us yeah. because that's human psychology, right? We tend to like get demotivated from failures, but at times goes on like I don't let it to affect me like quite some long time. So what I do is I try to get out from it. So I was like, yeah. okay, there's wow. a universe waiting for you. Just go and get it. I believe in law of attraction. You think what you become. Sorry, you oh. become what you think. That is so good. That is that is so good. Such an inspiration, like you. Um, okay, you're gonna you're gonna make it big one day, right? You're gonna be an astronaut and all that, and Netflix is probably gonna reach out to you and uh, ask you. Uh, f- they want to make a movie about your life, lah. Okay, so if Netflix ever comes to that point, who is one character or who is the actress you would want to play your role? Actress. Oh my god, this is a very hard question. <laughs> uh, anybody, anybody. It could be anyone. Okay. Um. Uh, I guess I would go for Priyanka Chopra. Priyanka Chopra. Wow. Okay. Because she has, she has somewhat like same height with me. She's tall and she's bold. Right, so right, I right. I guess I would go for her. I I was thinking Deepika Padukone because you know both of you are like tall. So you know, I think either way lah, I will just give Deepika and Priyanka a text and see who's interested lah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> sure. Thanks. Okay, Vanmita. I don't want to take so much of your time. Uh, you know, I understand it's a weekday night and all that, but I just want to say thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to talk. You are my very first guest on this small little talk show, lah. So thank you. So for my last question, Vamita, what is one advice you would give to all the ten-year-old Vamitas out there watching this right now? Okay, what I would say that set a dream, like get yourself like a paper and pen. Write down your ambition and stick it on the wall. It can be anything, but make sure during because as a kid we'll have a lot of free times, right? During that free time, what we do during that free time is actually determines our future. You know, we could be playing like video games or searching in internet. What we search on internet because our subconscious mind somewhat will give us like a clue of what we're going to do in future. Yeah. So focus on that and set an ambition. And stick it on the wall and focus on your education because in order to get into such high place, your education is the basic foundation for Amazing. the thing that you build your dream. You know. And there you go, our kids. You heard it first from Vanmita Akka. All you have to do is get a paper, write down your dreams, and stick it on the wall. So thank you so much, Vanmita, once again. I wish you all the best, and I have no doubt that you'll be one of the candidates selected to go to space. So thank you so much again. All the best. Okay, see you. Thank you so Amita. much, and thank you for having me. Bye. What an inspiration, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you something. If the phrase "never give up" was a person, it would definitely be Vanmita. 
And that is all the time we have for this week's episode. Do you have a story or some kababai to share? Do let me know in the comments down below. DM me on Instagram or even tweet it with the hashtag kababai. It may just be on the show next week. Ultimately, we just want you to stay home, stay safe, and most of all, take care of each other. I'm Chris MJ, and this is the Kababai Show. Good night, everyone. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.